Hello friends, I'm Maylene and I have trained to become a life coach in 2019 and in 2020 I moved to continue with the training because of the lockdown. I went on to become a cognitive behavioral therapy practitioner. So in this channel, I would like to share with you the insights that I have learned that I applied to myself as I feel my emptiness with calmness and contentment and curiosity and celebration. Welcome, this is my first episode. What was it like in the beginning? My reference verse will be Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Allow me to read. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. In verse 1 alone, I feel so overwhelmed just to think. I cannot grasp how God has created the heavens, plural, and the earth, our only home. I'm very sure you know that there's only one planet that has human beings in it. Everything supported life for human beings only on earth. So, science confirms the physical aspect of the universe in all its splendor, in its magnitude, in its perfect harmony. How can they identify the numerous stars and measure the sizes and distances of planets in reference to the Earth? I'm sure it's because of human brilliance, but a lot still remains undiscovered. But for all those things that they have done and discovered for now, all those things has proven the existence of a creator God. Why do I believe that? Because I don't think there is anyone who created God. Who can claim that they created God? Not the scientists, not the great gurus, no matter how big they think they are compared to God. So how big is God? Mm. Not even the universe can contain it. Not anyone can measure it. And so where did it come from? Hmm. From eternity past and eternity future. He's already there even before we get there. Isn't that awesome? So, there is no time for God. He's not limited with time. Time is only for you and me. My understanding now is that this is an awesome God that I should fear because this no one else greater than him who holds the future who created it from the beginning hallelujah that's how great god is so the truth that god's realm outside the earth or even outside the universe is spiritual it's eternal it's immeasurable it draws me to believe in that supreme God who created the heavens and the earth. In verse 1 alone, faith is challenged. And for me, I choose faith. In verse 2, we find that in the beginning, the earth was formless. It's not in the ball form that we see as the globe is. And it's empty or void. So there's nothing in it. Land. And 
darkness on the surface of deep waters. If the waters have no shape, but it is large because it's deep and there's darkness above it. It's also darkness below it. And I imagine deep waters without light could be scary and stinky. Mm. I imagine that it could be chaotic because there's no container. There's no identified form or shape. And that's how it was in the beginning of the earth. It's not a surprise that when you embark on something new, like starting this YouTube channel, it feels the same way. I started conceptualizing with some basic elements, but it was kind of formless and empty. I needed some inspiration to give it a shape and content and a name. And I perceived that it was just like that during the preloading stage of the earth. But that perfect architecture was already in the mind of God, the creator of all things. So the perfect design of the earth as part of the whole universe was not only for beauty, but for its functionality, for the purpose of sustaining life on earth. So then, that makes me think to prepare some content that would be practical or pragmatic and suitable to build up my own well-being and that of you who would be listening to my messages. So, what is it in your life that may seem formless, empty, dark, and deep? Let's pause and think about it for a moment. Is it the insecure feeling of having uh, not having enough money? Or is it the chaotic status quo of indecision and lack of direction? Is it the confusion in your career that comes from lack of purpose and meaning? Is it the cluttered pieces of your life that seem disconnected and spiraling in circles and wasting away, including your health? Is it the sadness and despair from broken, empty relationships and struggling to trust, struggling to forgive? So do you feel tired and spent in the continuing motion of your daily task that you actually forgot what are you pursuing? Where are you going? Do you feel restless that you are not achieving what you want to achieve and now there's little time left for you? Does it seem the end? Do you want to give up? That is a very beautiful place, just as it was in the beginning. I think it is so crucial to stop and contemplate. Put marks around this uneasy spot. Make it a reckoning point where you can start and move on to the direction of somewhere desirable. So, what is it that you want? What is it that you want to become? Where would you want to go? If the earth was nothing in the beginning, God created a paradise out of it. So for you and me, we can get inspiration in God's creative power to make something good and beautiful out of our own nothingness. This channel is dedicated to you who may be transitioning into a new phase in your life, just as I am. 
I am in the beginning of a new and exciting phase. And I call it my freedom years. So I thought the Bible didn't mention any retirement. It's freedom. If you are like me, so join me in this journey. I will be sharing some bits and pieces of the guiding principles that may help me navigate the highs and the lows of life. So thank you for being with me during this first episode. I would appreciate if you have any comment. I would like you to please subscribe on my channel, like and share as you find it appropriate. So remember, it's never too late to embark on a new adventure. May you all be in health and may you all prosper. See you next time.